we got something very special for you race boat and high performance fans. This is the queen of the Outlaw series from Baja, it's the 40, and this is a very serious machine. I wouldn't recommend you start off with this if you're just getting into high performance boating, but according to the company, some people do. A lot of these boats are sold to people under 35 or in fact over 60 years old, and it's a very popular boat on the poker own circuit. Now the company's regional sales manager, J.R. Jenny, is here to tell us a little bit more about the background on the 40 Outlaw. Well, with our core product, the Baja, being the Outlaw series, this happens to be our most prestigious model, our 40 Outlaw. The one you see here is just fully customized. Your only limitation is your imagination. And as you can see by the way this is set up, it's just, you do pretty much anything you want to do, many options, many power, anything you want to do, we can do it with this boat here. The Outlaw 40 is the biggest and most exciting boat in the Baja lineup. With control over the design and customization of your vessel, you're able to create that one-of-a-kind masterpiece you've always dreamed of. Your individuality matters, and with plenty of Mercury engine choices and plenty of paint schemes, you're sure to find yours. The 40 Outlaw sports a Baja true V-hull design that has evolved through the work of engineers with the relentless desire to build a faster, lighter, and more stable boat. The hull features a fully encapsulated interlocking stringer system to produce a stiff, rugged, and forgiving structure. Running at high speeds and large chop isn't a challenge, it's what this boat was designed to do. The helm is very well designed and can also be customized by the owner. There are plenty of Teleflex gauges which are backlit red for easy monitoring of all your systems. There are two panels of electrical switches that keep everything within reach and easy sight, important when you want to keep your eyes on the water ahead. The gaff rig platinum split shift throttle controls and the drive and K-plane indicators allow for fine-tuned handling and performance. And because there's no windshield, your view from this position is completely unobstructed. The aggressive offshore racing cockpit features four electric bolster seats, which come standard. These are electrically operated and the seats drop down to keep the passengers safely secured while running at high speeds. In addition, there's a bench seat in the back for three more passengers so you can take a total of six friends along for the ride of their lives or just across the bay for dinner. The cockpit also features snapping carpeting for solid footing when moving about the boat. When it comes time to dock, these narrow steps to port allow for easy passage up to the bow. You'll also find the anchor locker up here and pop-up cleats which keep the bow looking smooth and uncluttered. One thing that doesn't come to mind that often when thinking about a high-performance offshore race boat are cabin accommodations. Baja is not skimmed here at all, and this is just another reason why the 40 Outlaw is one of the most popular boats on the poker run circuit today. Up forward, you'll find a large V-berth with privacy curtain and storage below. Further aft are two large bench seats and a small galley with refrigerator, stainless steel sink, and single burner alcohol stove. Enough to keep you happy offshore for the whole weekend. There's also an enclosed head with porta potty. When it comes time to choose which engine to outfit the 40 Outlaw with, the choices are plentiful. Under the electric sun pad, this vessel features a three-engine layout. Here are three Mercruiser 525 EFI 500 horsepower engines fill the space. They're secured on offshore engine mounts for smooth operation. It's a tighter fit with the three engines when there's serious work to be done, but for daily access to check fluids and other systems, it's an easy task. Back on the transom, the three Bravo 1 drives are connected with stainless steel hookups and there are five exhaust pipes that can be opened or closed at the push of a button for all-out performance. Here is also where you'll find the K-planes that help bring the LF40 to plane in record time. Okay, so that takes care of the features and the functions of the boat. Now we're out here on the test track and I'm going to show you something very impressive. Unlike many of the high-performance boats we've tested in the past that stick their nose way up in the air, you're going to have to watch how fast this Baja 40 Outlaw gets on plane. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four seconds and we're up. The 40 Outlaw has an overall length of 40 feet 6 inches with a narrow 8 feet 6 inch beam and shallow 46 inch draft with a triple engine application. She weighs in at 12,000 pounds and carries 296 gallons of fuel and 15 gallons of fresh water. With three 500 horsepower Mercury 525 EFI engines in her, she accelerated to 30 miles per hour in only 5.1 seconds and reached a max speed of 76.6 miles per hour at 5,000 RPMs. Unlike other high performance speedboats, the 40 Outlaw's props grabbed all the way through from idle to full throttle. While underway at speed, there was no cavitation at all and she tracked steady and straight. Baja has really done a great job of producing a high-performance boat that is ready to perform right out of the factory. Now, while we got a top-end speed of about 80 miles an hour, the company says this boat will run in excess of 100 miles an hour with the right power package. Given that, the seating, and all the options that you can have on this boat, you can see now why the 40 is the biggest and baddest outlaw of them all.